Welcome to Hallel, what I would call a Jewish pep rally for God. Hallel is a compilation of six psalms that we sing and recite on Chagim and Rosh Chodesh. But there is one time of year, one time of year that we recite Hallel at night, and that is at the Seder. At the Seder, we also don't stand while we recite Hallel, we sit. We also make no bracha. And the most interesting part of Hallel, I think of the Seder, is that it's split in two, just like the sea. The first two Psalms accompany the Magid section that precedes the meal, and the rest comes right before the end, Hallel Nirza. So what's so special about Hallel at the Seder evening? One teaching of Rabbi Jonathan Sachs that I think is really powerful is he says that there are two Hallels, one, an evocative Hallel, a Hallel that we recall the miracles of the past and express our gratitude today for what has come before. By reciting Hallel, we remember and we connect to those miracles of the past, like the liberation from Mitzrayim, like the giving of the Torah, like all these moments in our history, both communal and personal, of when we remember we had this sense of the miraculous. He says, however, there's another kind of Hallel, which is the expressive Hallel, when we burst into spontaneous song in gratitude for a given moment in time when we just feel it in our bones. And he says that's the essential Hallel of the Seder, because we're not telling only a story of the past, we're telling a moment of today, what we are living through, and all our gratitude for having been through Mitzrayim and arriving at a place of liberation today. I'm not sure we have to choose between one or the others at the Seder night. We have a lot to think about in terms of all the past miracles. What are yours? What are our collective miracles as a people? And what are our personal stories of miracles and moments of enormous gratitude that we recite from the past and look to, to help us arrive at a space of gratitude and also strength for having gotten through in the past. And yet the second this year, the expressive, we are really living through a certain kind of Mitzrayim, a certain narrow place and a constriction. And as we sing the songs of Hallel, I invite us to think, what are the small miracles that we might feel incredibly grateful for now? And there's one I'd like to call up, which is at seven o'clock on every night, there's an ex spontaneous, or I don't know that's spontaneous anymore, but expression of clapping and bells and screaming through the windows of New York City for all those who we are grateful for and who are doing God's work to be on the front lines and try to heal and support our city and all those who are ill. And so as the streets of our cities and the windows burst out in song, what's our song on this Pesach? What are the small or grand miracles that we have to be grateful for? And finally, there's one last piece of Hallel that is taught in the words we say, Ana Hashem Hoshiana, Ana Hashem Hatzlichana, Please, God, save us. Please, God, make us prosper. There is a Hallel for what's to come. We have a song to sing about what will be the future. We will get through this. God will help us get through it. And so we're going to sing a song of hallelujah for what's to come when we get through this Mitzrayim. May it be soon and in our days. Chag Sameach.